So to us, the most important thing about every single day is how we invest the very first few hours. Win the morning, win the day. Today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Carev. Carev is a delivery vitamin and supplement company that helps you stay on top of your health. More on them later. So we like to start our days as early as possible. So that means ideally we like to wake up around 6 or 7 a.m. However, with a crazy lifestyle, Ooh. sometimes that changes based on if we're traveling, if we're shooting, if we're fighting jet lag. So there are many, many variables. But right now, the beauty of us spending some time at Mark's family's cottage is that it gives us the opportunity to have this routine and schedule that we can stick to. And then when we get up, a big rule is that, you know, we use our cell phones as an alarm clock, but we do not look at our phones until our morning routine is done. That means we're not checking emails, we're not looking at text messages, we're not going on social media. If you want to have an incredibly productive day, the last thing we find we ever need in the morning is to start thinking too quickly about what we should be doing and putting mm. yourself into more of a, a work state when really the real work at the beginning of the day is aligning the mind and body. It's you, yeah, and that's the real work, it's you right there. Once we're up, we have another, we have so many weird things now that I'm like having to think <laughs> about what we do in the mornings. Mark and I are obsessed with making sure that the bed is made. It's really weird, I know, but the first thing we do is make our bed because it just feels like we've already succeeded in something. The day hasn't even started. We haven't even gone to brush our teeth yet and already we feel like we've succeeded. So many of you guys may know the first thing that we do before we get anything started in our morning routine is our personal yoga practice. So we grab those mats and head on over to the deck. And I usually make a stop in the kitchen and I get about a half a liter of cold water and I squeeze in a half a lemon and then probably about two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, I was going to say, like, you love your cayenne pepper. <laughs> and I mix it all together <laughs> and I bring that down for the practice for myself because yeah. it's really great to help kickstart the digestive system, just wake up the body and I find like it's really strangely refreshing while I do yoga. Before we get the actual physical aspect of our practice started, we have this ritual we love to do, and that is burning sage or palo santo. We switch on and off, whatever we feel like fits that morning. But it's an incredible way to just still your mind for a minute and to burn the palo santo or the sage and to cleanse yourself, cleanse the aura, cleanse the energy around your yoga mat and just allows you to really set a good intention for your practice. A lot of you guys ask us about what is our personal yoga practice on a daily basis. What we give you on YouTube is exactly what we do ourselves. The only difference is that our practice is usually at least about 45 to an hour, if not an hour and a half, depending on how much time we have that morning. I mean, there's no secret to what we do. It's mm -hmm. the same classes on YouTube, just longer. So just like our complete program or 10 day program, it's exactly that, which is sometimes it's yoga workouts, yeah. when we need a physical workout, and when we need to relax, sometimes it's yin or restorative, or sometimes we want to work on specific body parts. Really, our yoga practice to ourselves, we just let our state of being dictate what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. And we try and innately listen as deeply as we can to our body and, and then give it exactly what yeah. it's asking for. Listening to your body is the key to creating your own yoga practice. The most interesting thing about our personal yoga practice is that we use that to prepare ourselves for meditation. So meditation always comes last for us at the very end. And now that the body is ready to sit still for an extended period of time, we really allow ourselves to go deeper within. So 
whether that is a specific meditation that we like to practice or again at times we have like five ten minutes and you yeah. know we have to be somewhere so like okay well we're just gonna have five minutes to sit and breathe whatever it is just giving yourself five ten fifteen minutes to recenter yourself to breathe to reconnect with something deeper within you is exactly what we need to start our day and any investment in yourself in finding stillness even if it's a minute is an investment well made especially in the morning because yeah. there's so much that can just be sorted out before you begin your day by just going inward so once we're done our yoga and meditation we head on back to the kitchen and make sure we take our vitamins and supplements and this video is actually sponsored by care of which is an amazing mm -hmm. customizable vitamin company who delivers vitamins straight to your door in individual little packages with your name on them <laughs> that are customly built exactly what's in it for exactly what you need when you actually sign up to their um, subscription, they give you a five minute quiz that you have to go through and it's just very simple personal health questions. But after you complete the quiz, they'll give you the recommended vitamins that they think you should be having, which I think is really cool because sometimes we don't know what we should be taking on a regular basis. So this really gives you that extra help in making sure that you're supplementing yourself in the right way. For example, in my vitamin packet, I have turmeric and veggie omega oils included in them. Mm -hmm. And that's because I'm always trying to take extra care of my back and it's really good for cartilage and it's really good for inflammation and for joints in general. Yeah, and in my packet I have one of the vitamins that I take is a B12 vitamin, which is great because being a vegan, sometimes we worry that we're not getting enough B12s in our diet, so this makes sure I'm getting the right amount of B12s. <laughs> and what's really cool about each of the packets actually is not only do they come with your name on them, but they also have like a quote or a <laughs> challenge, always different and always written on the packet for you to read as you take your vitamins. <laughs> it's pretty sweet and also care of is giving all of our viewers of this video a 25% off discount on your first month of your subscription so all you have to do is just click the link below in the description of the video the coupon is boho and you can just sign up and get 25% off your own personalized vitamin packs So after that, we take our dog for a walk. And this works as a double bonus because mm -hmm. not only do we get to take our dog for a walk, and but Prince we is happy. <laughs> Prince is very happy. <laughs> we also get to spend some time with each other yeah. and in nature. And we always try to make sure that we're still not speaking about work or anything that will cause any stress in our minds. Mark and I work together 24 seven. I mean, our <laughs> life is our business. So it's important for us to find that balance between work and just being with each other. So our morning walks with Prince is a moment for us to reconnect with ourselves, with each other, and also our dog. Just to really be a family. So once we're back from the dog walk, we're preparing ourselves now to get our workday started. So usually before we sit down and start talking about what our day is going to be like, we like to comfort ourselves with a nice drink, whether that is coffee, uh, tea, we like dandelion sometimes, which is a coffee substitute, or Mark, you love your turmeric lattes. Yeah, yeah. actually this company called Jammu, it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and once we have our drinks, we sit down and we are basically one step away from the rest of our day. And that last step is making a list. Oh, lists are crucial in our lives because it really allows you to write down your goals for the day, your tasks, your things that you just need to tackle. Um, and I find that when we don't do it and when you don't write it down and have it in front of you and it's in your brain, everything just, it just, go, just goes crazy. To me, I find, especially, yeah. I'm like, I don't know where to start, <laughs> you well, know? It allows you to visualize what needs to be accomplished, but also to look back at the lists from the day before to make sure nothing falls through the cracks. And then there is a sense of momentum, and it's like what we talked about with making the bed. It's when you scratch things off a list, it gives you more energy and inspiration to do the next things on the mm -hmm. list. Lists are a very, very important thing. And then once we got the list ready to go, like it's, it's game on, like we work and we work a lot. Sometimes we have to work till 10 or 11 o'clock at night, depending on what we have on our plates. Um, but we just go. Yeah. And that's the thing, because when the day is set properly, 
and this is our perfect routine. Sometimes we hit all of them. Sometimes our life only allows us to hit some of them, but we know that all of them have a value, each individually. So collectively, as a full morning routine, it sets us up for success. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters, because if you win the morning, we can't say it enough, you win the, the day. day.